some veterans headed to the water's edge today in Brantford to do a little fishing. News 8's Alyssa Taglia takes us to their special event. Somebody advocated take a vet and take them out for a day of fishing, whether it's your cousin, an uncle, a neighbor. And our church has this property that you're on right now, 55 acres on Long Island Sound. And I said, wouldn't it be beautiful if we could do do that. That's exactly what the first Congregational Church of Brantford did, and now Take a Vet Fishing has been going strong for 12 years. Iraq, Afghanistan, um, a lot from Vietnam. These veterans may not have served in the same war or even the same branch, but on top of their heroic hearts, these veterans all are part of a very special program through the VA. Uh, yes, Eastern Blind Rehabilitation Center is what it's called. Our blind veterans enjoy a day on the water full of fishing, music, good food, and good company. It's a great organization, and you want to give back to what these, these people have sacrificed for our country. It's been a beautiful Thursday. The sun is shining, and it's the first day of summer. But any day is a good day to honor and say thank you to our veterans and enjoy some fishing. It means a great deal to me. My service to the country was something that I did voluntarily, but what people are doing now in terms of demonstrating their outpouring of enthusiasm and respect for what we do I'm grateful for that. Take a Vet Fishing is also a reunion for those who have been through the Eastern Blind Rehabilitation Center program. Together, they have shared their stories. We've become comrades. Uh, there's a uh, degree of camaraderie and mutual support, and, and you become stronger because of that. It makes me feel special. A thank you to our servicemen and women who remind us to always enjoy life every day. The glass is always half full. And so as a soldier, I learned that. And soldiers and Marines and sailors and airmen and even Coast Guard guys, we all understand that. And so the best thing that you can do is look towards the next day. In Brantford, Alyssa Taglia, News 8.